Yo, it's Riker. What is up, you amazing, beautiful people? I hope you're doing well wherever you're at. Whatever time of day or night you're doing to watch in this video. In today's video, I have another first class game in the Vicar CR, and I really think this battle demonstrates how to be super aggressive in this tank. So without further ado, let's get into this battle breakdown. Right away, I push over to base A, and you can see by the lineup, they have two light tanks and one medium tank. And I am taking a huge gamble right here. I push up super aggressively, but only spot the T-54. And he started to push over to the heavy way. So that makes me think that nobody is over here besides him. So I start capping up base A. And as soon as I am done, I decide to push super aggressively over to their flank. And I think I have to take out the T-54 before I could actually go ahead and flank the enemy team. And there is only one light tank on my team that decided to push this way and help me out. I have no idea who it is, but on the mini map you can see him. And we do manage to cap out base A. And now I have to beeline it over beyond the enemy team to support my heavies as soon as possible because I'm not sure how long they can hold out. I see the ISU 152. I switch to the HE, try to hit him in the side, but it goes over and does not hit him. But my teammates do end up tracking him in place, and I have another opportunity to get the shot into his side. And I still have the HE loaded, seeing if I can get another shot into him. And we are able to get another shot into the side of that ISU 152. He is now a definite one shot for me, and I'm pretty sure almost everyone on my team. But we do lose a heavy tank on my team, so now I know I have to play super aggressive, but also be smart about my gameplay and somewhat passive at times. So I still have the HE loaded, getting that shot into that waffle tractor. And I'm getting to this position right here where I can use this tank's gun depression for the most part to get shots on the enemy team push up, try to bait out that wall tractor. I bait him out, push up, and I switched to HE, see if I could shot into that T32. I do not want to risk just not penning the HE on the T32. So I switch back to premium, I mean, my standard ammo, get a shot into him, get another shot into him, tracking him in place. And it looks like the T49 is also dishing out some damage. And I'm willing to take a hit for, from that T32 as long as I am able to take him out of the game. Cause now we have three confirmed enemy tanks taken out of the game and we have lost two friendly tanks and i switch back to he since i am dealing with the waffle tractor get a nice shot into him on the move but our t49 does get deleted from the game so i've switched back to the standard ammunition do not want to blow that shot on he not having it go fully through take him out of the game and now the t49 is rushing me i am able to reload in time before he gets a shot into me take him out of the game and all that's left over here is the t54 switch to he just to confirm the shot and he is taken out of the game and we changed that entire tide of the battle from losing to now winning in a 3v1 situation. And all that's left is the enemy RU. And looking back on it, I should have just rushed over to base A and started engaging him and taking him out of the game. But instead, I was thinking about the bases and the capture points. So I start capping out base B and I push over to base C and cap it out. While my ML1, I believe starts pushing over to base a where the ru was last at and he capped out base a the main reason why i decided to go for the bases instead of going after the ru was because i thought he was just gonna take us on a wild goose chase and we would never really be able to run into him and take him out of the game so that's why i went to base b and i am now capping out base c but it looks like our team did spot him get at least one shot into him and it looks like he is coming my way so i decided to push up see if i could run into him and take him out of the battle doing some more damage and at least taking it out him for the five kills i always forget what the five kills and six kills is called i think it's like a pulls metal that might be the six kills i'm not entirely sure but we end up getting the first class 3.3k damage okay -ish credits but the five kills i'm pretty sure that's pulls i'm going to say it right now but correct me down in the comment section below if i'm wrong and we are on top of the leaderboard, but if you did learn something new or like the video, smash the like button, leave a comment in the section of the favorite part of the video or anything in general down in the comment section below, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified when I upload a new video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. How does it feel to breathe when you're dead?